All right, we've got a grassy knoll in place and that's just basically we've got a point of reference now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to work on the birdhouses, the face of the birdhouses themselves and set the, uh, the poles for the birdhouses. So two different methods on that and again we'll practice on the paper first. Remember you're going to wet your brush in the uh, clean water. And what we're going to do is remove the excess water on the towel. We just want those bristles not to be stiff. And you're going to reform that. Now see what will happen. If this is sideways, you're not going to get a true stroke. So what we're going to do is make that sure that's nice and straight. Now, another rule of thumb, too. If these start separating like this, that means your brush is too dry. So what you would do is just re-wet it again. And you'll notice that when you're painting. Um, and go ahead and re-wet that. You don't want the bristles separated. Okay, so we're going to take some, this is warm brown in the gel color. And again, I, I hate to be a product um, namer, but the Americolors are the only thing that works in this. And trust me when I tell you, I've tried them all. We spent 18 months trying to work with these colors to make something work. Okay, again, we're going to start side loading. Okay, we've got that to a V, and make sure again we're going to work that into the brush. See how I've got the separation there? And you're going to do that three times. And make sure you've got white on white, brown on brown. If you switch them around, you're going to have to start over again. Clean your brush and start over. So that's about the only concentration you're going to need when doing this. Okay, my last stroke, I'm going to pick up some paint. And again, make sure sometimes when I'm working on the palette, because the colors are so dark, I'll maybe take a pen and mark green and brown on there when you first start. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice a stroke. Now, if you're looking at this cake, this is another thing. If you're starting to look at something as art, the light is coming in from, from this way, so it's going to be darker on this left-hand side. So I'm going to flip this brush over so the brown is on the left side, the white is on the white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and stroke it up. Okay, obviously I need some more paint, so I'm going to go back in, pick up more paint, and I'm going to try that again. You can go back over, it's very forgiving. Okay, now, this birdhouse isn't wide enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the paint over, the brush over, I'm going to pick up some more white and some more brown, and I'm going to put the white where the white ended and the brown on the outside, and I'm going to go back up. Okay? And again, if you don't like exactly the way that looks, flip your brush around and you can keep bringing that up. I'm happy with that. Okay, I might want a little bit more brown in here. And that's what's neat about this. Even on the fondant, you can go back through. Okay, I like that better. See how there's a little bit more striation there? Okay, now to do the bottom of the birdhouse, what we're going to do is we're still working with the brown and the white. We're going to go ahead and load that up again. And you've got a little landing there. So again, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put the pole up because I don't, you know, I want to go that landing to be underneath the pole. If you look at this dimension wise, you can see, see how this pole wraps around. And again, if you look at it, you see the brown on the outside with the white coming towards the middle. So what I'm going to do is take my brush and a chisel end up. And again, chisel end means the edge of the brushes. I'm going to, actually, let's do the pull first, sorry about that. Um, we're going to take this chiseled edge up and we're going to run this straight up. Okay, now do you see how with one stroke, look at all the color, I've got a little bit of brown, it fades to, you know, a little bit wider in the middle, and look how that even outlined the outside. I I'm not working hard, it's just, it it's all the brush.